Good morning, fellow Americans. Today is 4th of July, America's birthday, and we are headed to Ready Gunner to meet up with Neil and Buff Kilke, as they have invited us to be part of the parade where they're gonna have uh, the rally cars, or the rally trucks. What are the trophy trucks, right? Yeah. Are they gonna have the trophy trucks out there? And uh, then we're gonna, we're gonna spread a little bit of freedom to the uh, people here in Utah. Play to my garden, wait for the harvest to burn down my head. I lit up the forest, hugged the stranger, I tongue kissed his wife. I ran into a killer and I stabbed him with my knife. Well, I'm free now, mama. You know, I'm a fall right down to some shoe. So, depending on where you're at in America, the 4th of July can mean something different. Some people, it's about fireworks. Some people, it's about barbecues, family, the lake. But in reality, it's about everything. But one of the biggest things about the 4th of July is the parades. Because the parades, it really gives everybody a chance to realize this is a celebration of our nation's birth. So this is an ultimate birthday party for the United States of America. And uh, we're just out here having a great time. There's a lot of different floats. People dress from all different eras of American history. You know, we've got pirates, cowboys, service men and women, all giving devotion to our country. We're out here with Ready Gunner, with the trophy trucks, actually just uh, meeting a lot of good people. We're meeting a lot of different fans. Of course, we brought out Crispy for this event. As you can see, Crispy is having a great time. It's awesome. And we actually had to bring him here to show that we're racially friendly. <laughs> and politically correct yeah, yeah, to yeah. some degree you know. <laughs> no but we're just we're out here just having a good time giving each other uh, hell and just that's what America is about so after this we're going to go see if we can get us some barbecue but hopefully the parade will go well this is uh, the biggest parade in all of Utah for the 4th of July so hopefully this year will be better than any other year they've had Provo Parade down south by Ready Gunner. It was actually really good because uh, yeah, we had over 50,000 people in one place to see the biggest parade that happens in all of Utah. So I didn't really know what to expect because I haven't been in a parade since I was a little kid because my dad he used to work for the Forest Service during the summer times so I used to ride the float with Smokey the Bear. So I was actually riding on the front of one of the trophy trucks and Crispy had my six, he was riding in the back. So it was actually a pretty cool experience to see how many people knew me, recognized me, called me, said, you know, nice beard, oh hey man, spot, hey what's going on? And then they'd see Crispy and be like, Crispy, hey man, what's going on? So it was fun to actually see us in a big, I, I, I'm not sure if using the term public figure is the most accurate definition, but it's really neat to see our platform being recognized by so many different people at one location. And this was the first time that this parade had actually had trophy trucks in it. So people loved it. They loved it when the engines were getting revved, especially when I would do the percussion. And we would, we would do it on the ensemble of one, two, 
Slee! And really just let it let it rip. And, you know, and the crowd would really eat into it, especially when I would scream, like, America or USA. And, you know, you had these little kids there that kept on, like, motioning to, you know, do the, the, the modern thing or whatever it is. Wife Spot would know what that is. I, I just did it because the kids liked me doing it. Um, it was nice because I was able to wear Wife Spot's glasses. I don't think she noticed, but we'll make and keep that our little secret. Um, she'll probably said the reason people loved me is because of her sunglasses, so. But somebody did ask about Wife Spot when I was on the float. They're like, hey, where's Wife Spot and Littles? And I was like, she's home pregnant. So they were like, next year, next year. So it's cool that they're not only recognizing me, they're recognizing the entire Spot family, so. Uh, Ready Gunner was really happy with uh, how we all did because I mean Crispy flew here specifically just for this event So I think it turned out to be really well that Ready Gunner was represented for the first time in this 4th of July parade So I hope I get to do it again, but man it was hot I guess when they said dress up as man spot I could have picked some clothes that were a, a little less leathery because I was just covered in leather with the jacket the shafts, but uh I'm stuck with it now. Now I just gotta roll with the punches. Well, here we are at Ready Gunner. We actually are here with Nosley on Instagram and uh, YouTube. She's here with her boyfriend from Amsterdam, the Netherlands. So this is their second time to the United States, the first time they were actually in Miami. And this is their first time to the real United States. The reason I say you can't judge Miami based on the rest of the United States is what the United States is all about. Guns, freedom, America. Miami is more the beach, having a good time. I mean, there's some, still some good people in Florida that know how to America hard, but the true Americanism that you're gonna get from the rest of the country is when you come out west and you just have open land, you can drive, you're kind of free in that sense. So, we brought them to Ready Gunner to kind of check everything out, hold any gun they want, and actually get their content for their YouTube channels and Instagram if they need. So we're gonna rent out a bunch of guns for them to shoot, anything they wanna shoot. They're gonna spread some freedom in that sense and uh, hopefully we'll do some cross promotion. So that's, that's what influencers do, they try to cross promote each other. If they don't do that, then they're kind of a dick. So, bah! You switch it once, that's one shot for every pull of the trigger. Yeah. Switch it one more time. That's a set. Um, it's three round bursts. Okay. So you just hold it down. It'll shoot three rounds, and yeah. then it'll stop on its own. So you can just shoot three rounds, shoot three rounds. Three rounds three, three, three. So you're just standing like. <laughs> what? I don't know. I had no idea what I was aiming at at all. Like freedom. Are are these? These bigger holes are yeah. the nine millimeter. And these are the ones. These are two two three. That's one of yours. These are all small. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, two two three rounds yeah. like the AR. That's one of yours. <laughs> Shot him in the eyeball. So this is the safety right here. Where? Oh yeah. So, and now it's on safety, but if you switch it, then you're you're good to go. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha 
Every time you get done shooting, you yes, you pop some rounds off. Like, yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, I like the uh, <laughs> you got a little gangster there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So how are you liking it? Awesome, man. This is something I cannot do at home, so uh, I'm very happy with that. It's like my mini baby right now. <laughs> I wish I would have had this at home. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so our friends from Amsterdam left. It's actually really fun to see people who are from a different country. They just get bad perceptions of America and our gun laws and guns in general because of their, their media because they're portrayed guns as what the media wants them to portray as guns. So actually seeing their genuine reaction to how amazing guns are and how fun they can be when used responsibly, it's actually really cool to get that reaction from them. But they got a lot of different content from them, so hopefully it'll be able to help promote Ready Gunner to a whole new genre of audience that didn't even know what Ready Gunner was. Because as we know, you don't have to shoot guns to enjoy guns. A lot of people just like seeing the different builds and seeing you know, what people can make and create out of guns because they're a work of art when it comes down to it and how they function. So it was a good day at Ready Gunner and uh, now I gotta see if I can actually find a gun so I can buy. Because Wifespot said check on her Kimber, which is coming from Kimber. And if they do a background check, I tend to say, hey, just throw another gun on there because it seems like such a process. So, yeah, we'll see if I can hide that one from wife spot. Can I shoot them down? Shoot them down! This is how you do it 4th of July style in yeah. America. So, better that I know, I have to wake up at 5 to get here because the parade starts at 9 in the morning. So, 